Greetings fellow Pagan Pals, Bella Rosa here, and today we're making that fairy house for your altar I was telling you about. There are a lot of options out there, but after browsing the shelves and getting distracted by these little cuties right here, I settled for a little lonely birdhouse. It's kind of busted looking, but I thought it could fix it up. It definitely has potential, but first some adjustments. I am going to make a hole in the back so that I can insert light. So I used a one and a half inch spade drill bit and then I removed the flower by peeling it off with a flathead screwdriver. After sanding the rough bits both on the front and back of the birdhouse, I'm ready to paint. I want to create a reclaimed barn wood effect using white, yellow, brown, and black acrylic paint. So I loaded a flat brush with white paint and then just added a touch of each of the colors. Then I spread it over the surface of my birdhouse using only up and down motions, no horizontal lines. You want to avoid blending the colors fully and keep the streaky look. If you go in with too much brown like I did right there, just go in with some white paint. If you start to notice that the paint is getting harder to spread evenly, try going in with a dab of water on your paintbrush and that should get things rolling along smoothly again. Once you're happy with the look, allow it to dry and just go in with some paint to cover up any raw edges. To make lines in your wood where the boards meet up, take a dry and clean brush, put a little brown paint on it and instead of holding it like a pencil, hold it from the tip of the handle. It will feel unstable and shaky, but this actually helps you to create light, crooked, and uneven lines, giving the boards a natural look. Use this same technique with white paint to lighten your lines. To make darker spots, use brown paint and twirl your paintbrush to create little circles and then go over the circles with white paint to blend them out. And that's basically the whole process. A touch of black paint here, some brown paint there, maybe some more white paint. To give the appearance of wood knots, make a swirl with brown paint and then go back in with just a dab of white paint to highlight it and drag your brush on either side of the swirl, making sure not to touch the center of the swirl. And just like that, suddenly the world's best artificial wood knot is created. I am so proud of that wood knot right there. So proud. You can also use this method to create natural flaws in the wood grains. Really, the paint does all the work and all you're doing is pushing the paint and guiding it along. Next up is painting our fairies. I picked these up at Joanne Fabrics and I'm painting them with bright colors, blue, purple, red, and white. And I'm mixing the colors together to get different shades. While they dry, let's work on the rooftop. I'm using a dark green moss to add to the woodland creatures feel. First I applied hot glue and then I grabbed a handful of moss and pressed it right over the glue. I did this in rows, picking out the pieces that I didn't really like and filling in the gaps along the way. I want to add a ledge in the front where I can actually put an offering dish, so I picked up these little shelf-like pieces of wood and painted one just like I did with the birdhouse, and then I set it aside to dry. One last coat of white paint for touch-ups, and then with one layer of Mod Podge matte finish, I covered the fairies, the birdhouse, and the little ledge. Once everything dried, I attached the fairies to the birdhouse with some hot glue. And then I decided to take some faux grass and it had like these little flowers on it and I trimmed them down to attach them to add more dimension, which really helped everything to pop out and come together. For the shelf, I used E6000 for a stronger hold and attached it right to the front and with some last minute touches of flowers here and there, this fairy house is done. The roof is mossy, the fey motifs are absolutely gorgeous, and with a flick of a switch, this fairy house comes to life. Subscribe now, become a Pagan Pal, like up this video, and I'll see you next time for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and such. Bye!